Welcome to California. Day, day seven. seven. It's home day. Aww. Good morning. Welcome to day seven. It's Friday, 21st of February. And we aren't going to Disney today, but we are going to something Disney. Before I carry on, just to let you know, because people always ask where this hotel is, the Best Western Snowballs Inn is there. That's the Best Western. This is the road to downtown Disney. So there you've got um, Credit Coaster and Pixar, a pal around Mickey's wheel, fun wheel. There right in front you've got Paradise Pier. That side you've I think got it be Grand Floridian. Pixar Grand Floridian, Grand Californian. Why do you still call Paradise Pier? I don't know. That was, that, that was what Pixar Pier used to be. So that's how close it is. If you just walk down this road here, it takes you to the entrance of downtown Disney. So it is really close. For me, personally, I've just had this conversation. We've been to like 7-Eleven quite a lot and Subway or Blaze Pizza or wherever on the way back to go and get some food or maybe you know head back to the hotel. And that's all that end, right down there. So if you're staying here, I mean, I don't know what's that way. But if we wanted to still go to 7-Eleven, it would end up being a, quite a long walk for us because we'd still go out that entrance down that end where we've been coming in, walking down, and then walking back up again. But as for distance from that hotel to here, yeah, it is really close. I think I'd stick with South Harbour Boulevard hotels, personally. Yeah, in credit cases going. Yeah, really well, eh? Yeah, it must be magic, huh? Yeah. Yeah, magic. So we're not far from where we were. We crossed there, and then in front of us is a sign. Downtown Disney and Paradise Pier. And Paradise Pier is where we're going. Oh look, they've got a water slide out the back, see it? We need to stay in Paradise Pier, there's no water. Yeah, this morning we're going to Paradise Pier Hotel and we're going to go and, and do a Disney character breakfast. This is a very last minute decision. We decided yesterday that we were going to do this. So our tickets are run out now. We only had a five day ticket. And um, this is technically day six, not including the day we arrived. So um, yeah, we've used our part tickets up. So let's not let the magic die quite yet. Let's carry on. And let's make the last day a good last day and not a sad last day. It's gonna be sad. You're gonna be stuck in a two hour Uber and then when you get to the airport, then you have to wait another two hours. <coughs> and then when you get on the plane, you have to wait 11 hours. And then you're home and probably throw up and then you're gonna go. <laughs> As you can tell, Jay doesn't like traveling. Coming out absolutely fine, going back is always sad anyway. But going out on night flights, we don't do night flights very well, do we, Jake? No. Worst thing. But it looks like we can go in this way. Let's go. Is this it? Yeah, this is the hotel. Good morning. Morning. Welcome to Paradise Pier. <laughs> High five. High five, Jake. <laughs> Abby, what have you just found out? That stitch is here. Stitch is here. <laughs> Oh, I got that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, we've got a gift shop. It's not necessarily the last chance to buy stuff. We have gift shops. Oh, Abby. Abby. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Donald. <laughs> Hi, Minnie. <laughs> well, Stitch getting his breakfast. How busy getting his breakfast? <laughs> He's putting his order in. What can I do now? 
good. Isn't it? Bit chicken for breakfast. Okay. Sunglasses on. You look cool. <laughs> oh, you got a kiss. Kisses. <laughs> Oh, you're getting all the kisses today, aren't you, Jay? <laughs> Hi, Minnie. save anybody yet and you're, oh, you're the lifeguard for this hotel. That's impressive. <laughs> it's got the Nutella in it. Hey, maybe some have got Nutella because there's three different types up there isn't there? I don't know, just three like balls of donuts. What? Up there. You can get some in a minute. There's no rush, you can eat your pancakes. What's that face about? You want Nutella? Nutella. <laughs> it is ten past eight in the morning. Yeah, Abby has ice cream. Ice cream for breakfast. Ice cream for breakfast. What are you on holiday? Ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> oh, it's made it back. Oh, ice cream with a strawberry in it. <laughs> nice. Mm. I'm going to show you the food because I couldn't eat any other restaurant because it was so busy, but this is not busy. So we have. Biscuits and gravy, egg, a scrambled egg and breakfast potatoes, which are quite nice actually. We have eggs benedict, bacon, sausages, I um, can't pronounce what they are but they're like nachos with some sort of sauce and cheese on. We have fruit. Little mini bagels, which are really nice with bacon. Like some more tomatoes and onion and stuff. Fruits, yogurts, donuts, mini veggies, and donut holes. It's a whole omelette station. By the way, it's quarter past eight on a Friday morning, and this is how busy it is. Not busy. Omelette. Are you having an omelette? And then on this side we have cereals, pastries and muffins. Oh yeah, look at this. Ice cream, M&M's, gummy bears and Oreo. Oh, I wouldn't normally have ice cream for breakfast but today is another matter. And then we have French toast, we have 
Mickey shaped pancakes, Mickey waffles, randomly chicken nuggets. And this is an oatmeal with raisins and brown sugar. Mm. Both got ice cream now. That's your choice of food. There's quite a small selection, but enough. Plenty of choice. I've just had um, some egg, bacon, sausage, and I'm gonna go and get myself an omelette. Mm. I have some strawberries and I have no idea what it is. Like a strawberry moussey sort of thing, is it? Maybe? I mean, like the strawberry ice cream, so I got it and then I like. What flavour ice creams did they have? Vanilla and chocolate, all swirled together. It's like this little mini MMs and that over there as well. MMs. I had mini gummy bears and fries. Yeah. Sounds good. Right, I'm going to go get myself an omelette. I had bacon mushroom. Um, in Plaza, you know, that was really nice. So, she is patiently waiting for Stitch. Oh, it goes out there as well. That man ruined it by telling her Stitch was here. I wanted it to be surprised when she saw him. Uh, what? Oh, what is Donald gonna say? Daisy keeps blowing kisses to you. <laughs> He doesn't know. He's over there. He's busy over there. It's fine. <laughs> he hasn't put a ring on it. Then he can't comment, can he? <laughs> she pointed at your little top. <laughs> Turn the photo on the Yeah? Yeah. Get a photo. Can we do one the six? Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Good, say bye bye. <laughs> you say bye to Donald. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for letting us come to your breakfast. How was everyone's breakfast? Great, I saw. Lovely. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That was really nice. Stitch! Stitch! Stitch came over and he hugged you and then he wouldn't let go of you and then he hugged up at Jake and then he pulled you in for a hug too. <laughs> <laughs> it was really I'm good. To eat my ice cream. I'll be honest, before we came, um, I decided that we should do a character breakfast because we've never done one here before and it was either going to be the Minnie's breakfast at the Plaza Inn, which is what we did, or Storytellers Cafe, which is in the Grand Floridian. No, oh my god, I keep calling it Grand Floridian, Grand Californian. Um, so I had them both booked, but I cancelled the other one, which was the second day, because I just didn't know which one we were going to do. And I didn't even give this one, or Goofy's Kitchen, a kind of a second thought, really. And it's only because we thought, let's try and do something, you know, good on our last day, rather than just be sad that we're going home, that I decided to book it, and it was better. I like the plaza one, but this was better. Because it Stitch was there, the characters were really good, the they kept coming over. It was really good. 
the kids. Yeah, good food, the pancakes, ice the cream. ice cream. I don't feel, well, we've got quite fussy kids. Um, I don't feel like there was that much choice um, at the other one for them. It was a little bit more, not adult themed, but not so good. This one had pancakes, it had ice cream, it had donuts. So they ate yeah. a lot as well. Just waiting at the traffic lights. Just seeing what's going on. There we go, we can walk or run in Abby's case. Um, so yeah, I definitely consider this one. We got there at 7.50 and there was about three tables taken. It was really quiet. And even when loads of people did come in, it was still quite quiet, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It, it, it remained quiet. Even though it took Stitch to place an hour to come around. <laughs> it took Stitch ages to come to us. I think he knew we were desperately waiting for him to come. But Daisy, Daisy took a liking to Jake and she kept coming over and blowing him but kisses. I forgot to tell Donald at the end that Daisy was cheating on her with my brother. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell him that. Donald invited us to his restaurant. And can you give me this? So I've got my spirit jersey on. And this is my lovely wife's spirit jersey. Orange. <laughs> I really like it, it looks nice. I like it. Yeah. I've got the black one, which is obviously what Ian thought because he wanted to match me. <laughs> yes, now I am. Um, I wanted a different one because I have a black Halloween oh, one okay. from Walt Disney World. Um, and then I've got the black Disneyland one. Oh, yeah. And there was a really nice black one with gold writing on it, which I was a bit like, oh, do I get that one? But then I opted not to get another black and I went orange. But it changes colour, you can see it's. Darker orange at the top and lighter orange at the bottom. Nope, light, oh my god. Darker orange at the bottom, lighter orange at the top. So we're gonna, we're heading back down towards the hotel. We're gonna go in the little shop, I think it's called Amart, and go and get a, like a number plate. And we like to put them up in our um, like barbecue area at home. So we're gonna go there and go and grab one. Then we have to go back to the hotel and we have to pack our suitcases ready to go. Our flight was meant to be at five o'clock today and it got changed to three o'clock, which is a downer really, because that's two hours, two hours less time. So we haven't really got much time this morning to do anything. If it's half nine. Is it half nine now? Yeah. Half nine. Oh, we're in there quite a long time then. If it's half nine now, we're a good hour and a half we were in that restaurant. Well, that's good. That means far. When we get back and get that number plate back in the hotel, it'll be 10. We've got one hour to pack it. Yeah. yeah, we've got long. We've got the Uber here, it took two hours, nearly two hours to get here. And um, there was a lot of traffic, so I don't think it's going to take that long. I need to have a look on the maps to see what the traffic's like at the moment. The flight's at three, so we, we need to be there by one by the latest but we have taken into consideration that getting to the airport is not the quickest process as LA traffic is normally crazy. Oh, we'll give you an update, give you an update in a bit. Probably on the way, probably in the Uber. This is us checking out. Oh, it's oh, so sad. Oh, Uber. Can we come and live here? <laughs> That's what the guy was saying, um, the chef. He said that his friend comes from the UK on holiday in like 20 years ago. He's like, oh my yeah. god, this is what it's like here. And then he never left. <laughs> Have a look. Sad to go? Sad. Yeah, waiting for an Uber. Get to us to the airport. Yeah. With all our luggage. Getting into our Uber. Nice and early ahead of schedule, then approximately 
speeds and why the full time. Well, London uh, currently uh, eight hours ahead of Los Angeles, so we would like to adjust your watch uh, to the time. It's about to uh, 